Um, today on the bonus show, we're going to be talking about a lot of different things. Number one, and this is a story that is of very much interest to Lewis. There's a new study that reveals staring at breasts can add five years to a man's life and is equivalent to rigorous exercise. So Lewis will give us his analysis on that on today's bonus show. We'll also tell you which Democratic senator is comparing MoveOn.org to the Tea Party. You might be surprised who it is. And we'll also uh, play some clips for you of a man on the street segment we did talking to people about, is the Iraq war really over? I'm not sure if we should air it, Lewis. So we'll play it for our members and then they will decide. In other words, we report, they decide. That's something I came up with on whether we should air that. So all of that and more on the bonus show. I want to get to emails. Uh, first off, first and foremost here, we talked about the disguised flyer, the young Asian man who dressed up like an 80 year old white guy with this expensive mask and got on a plane. Chris from Cincinnati told me in 2004, a friend and I traveled to Japan to visit a friend of ours working at the U S embassy in Tokyo on the return flight home. I was traveling with a bamboo didgeridoo as a carry on. While I was in Narita Airport, the employees I interacted with thought I was carrying kendo martial arts weapons and still had no problem with this. When I arrived at LAX, I was forced to check my didgeridoo for 80 bucks after a short, curt discussion with the LAX employee saying, hey, it's just a hollow piece of bamboo. Her initial response was something like, I don't know where you flew in from, but you can't carry that on here. So an indication there may be differences, Lewis, in security standards, depending on what Asian country you're coming from. Clearly. Uh, another audience member, I frequently travel back and forth to Asia, lived there almost 20 years until last November and traveled around Asia for business. Security varies greatly. If I'm boarding a U.S. owned airline, I pass through several checkpoints, all staffed by people who have the rules tattooed in their brains and no sense of humor. There is bad or worse than anything in the U.S. Um, yet and do not mention this out loud. I have traveled with a small aerosol container of mace that looks like perfume through every airport in the world. So clearly there are there are major differences there. And maybe that's why this guy was able to get on dressed as an 80 year old white guy with a 55 year old white guy's ID, actually a 20 year old Asian man. No doubt. Uh, on daylight savings time, we talked about how we want to end daylight savings time. And somebody astutely pointed out, Dave has this completely backward. When we move the clocks back, we went back to standard time as we exited daylight savings time. He was advocating staying all the time on daylight savings time. You know what? I, I, we're aware of that, but I thought that it would be confusing to the audience to just say, you know what? We should get rid of standard time. So you are right. I did technically make a mistake. Thanks for listening. We'll be back on Monday with plenty more. Tune into the bonus show. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. The David Pakman Show is made possible by listeners like you and by Greenfield Savings Bank, building a strong community one account at a time, with neighborhood offices in Greenfield, Amherst, Conway, Shelburne Falls, South Deerfield, and Turner's Falls, and online at greenfieldsavings.com. By the Daily Hampshire Gazette and GazetteNet.com, connecting our communities with local news and information. By DIF Design, specializing in custom business websites at DIFDesign.com. Find out more about underwriting The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.